I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. I see you've discovered the handiwork of Messrs. Mooney, Wormtail, Padfoot, and Prongs, purveyors of aids to magical mischief makers. With the Marauder's map in hand, you'll have no trouble secretly navigating your way through Hogwarts, avoiding the likes of Professor Snape, Filch, and Mrs. Norris. What in the name of Azkaban is keeping you? Absolutely spiffing. Welcome to Divination Class, the ethereal domain of Professor Trelawney. Here you can use your inner eye to define moments in a crystal ball, learn about creating the vision of the film, or meet a shrunken head. Professor Trelawney would predict you're about to make a choice. How nice to see you in the physical world. I do hope your inner eye is not clouded because before you lies a crystal ball featuring moments you've never seen. And the post office, it's about 200 hours all sitting on colour-coded shelves. Hello there. All right, brethren, welcome to the cast and crew interviews. I'll be asking the in-depth questions you'll want to know about the people that made this movie possible. The only question I think now the viewers want answered is what the heck are you doing on this part of the DVD? At least I was in the movie. You were in the movie, yes, as a prop, but you weren't in the movie as a star. When the stars want to talk, they're going to be talking to me. So that's why I'm going to be doing these interviews. We're a double act. We're doing the interviews. That's why I'm doing the interviews. We're doing the interviews. Okay, okay. If it makes you happy, that's why we're doing the interviews. Brilliant. What's wrong? Crookshank's got your tongue? Let's go, Crookshanks. <laughs> Missed him by a whisker.
Ouch! That's got to hurt. You must be more careful. Come on now, he's only got nine toes. Sir Cadogan has lost his way on his journey to protect the Gryffindor common room. Since the fat lady pulled up her skirts and fled, many fear the return of Sirius Black and the harm he might do. The portraits will guide you along your journey. You decide to follow their lead or not. Using your remote, select the sabers to navigate your path. Select a clock to save time or choose a time turner to go into the past and correct a poor decision. Will you prove yourself a page, squire, or knight of the realm? You don't have much time, so hurry and earn your reward. We mustn't fail! Travel from painting to painting as quickly as you can. Try not to smudge anything. This looks like a mistake. Memorize the symbols on the door. Your survival... Wicked choice. Welcome to the Defense Against the Dark Arts. Professor Lupin will be joining us shortly. Here, you can choose to test how observant you are with magic you may have missed, or take a tour of the professor's classroom and office. We're going to need a time turner at this rate. So everyone knows you saw what you saw, but what did you see? Use Professor Lupin's projector to have a closer look at the magic you may have missed. Answer the questions to see how right you are. Let's have a closer look at details you may have missed along your journey. Room 11. Something just disappeared. Was it a chair, a bottle, or a cup? Excellent. Quickly! We mustn't be late for Defense Against the Dark Arts class. One can only hope that Professor Lupin is well so Snape doesn't have to replace him. Remember to use your arrow keys to navigate your way at the stopping points and have a look around. Here comes Professor Lupin from his office. Better find a seat right away. Quickly now, before class begins. Good afternoon.
Intriguing, isn't it? Professor Lupin is a master at handling bog arts, of course. I hope we fare as well. Ah, uh, now what was that spell again? Oh, ridiculous! Yes, ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous! Oh, dear me. The dark arts seem to favor skulls and shrunken heads, not to mention grindylows and red caps. I would not want to encounter such tusks and odd-looking creatures before taking this class. Let's move past these studious chaps to the encased skulls on the table. Could these be the remains of mischievous students past? Keep studying if you don't want to end up like the one on the left. This character's seen better days. I wouldn't have wanted to have a run-in with him when he was around. nothing to worry about. You see, there's a boggart in there. Now, boggarts are very fond of dark, enclosed spaces, like wardrobe, the gap beneath the bed, cupboard under the sink. You know, I once met a boggart that had lodged itself inside a grandfather clock. But the first question we must ask ourselves is, what is a boggart? Wasn't that interesting? Let's have a look over by the stairs. Artifacts, no doubt, preserved for posterity. Oh, there's another poor fella gone, but not forgotten. To the right are texts including Dark Forces, A Guide to Self-Protection by Quentin Trimble and The Rise and Fall of the Dark Arts. If we're very quiet, we can have a look at what Professor Lupin is working on. Could be something about bogarts, grindylows, redcaps, or kappas. And don't you wonder what that mysterious potion is that Snape concocts for the good professor? We learn many things about the mysterious Professor Lupin. Why he falls ill when the moon is full, why Professor Snape concocts that potion for him, and why his nickname is Mooney. But how did he become such an expert at the administration of chocolate? Mm. 
See the old phonograph there? I'm sure Fluffy would enjoy a good tune. More skulls and what appears to be a creature's spine. That hand looks quite Slytherin-like. Let's have a look at Professor Lupin's office while he's still teaching the class. It's just to the right, up this staircase. It's a bit narrow, isn't it? Do be quiet while class is taking place. Right this way. In here is his study. Let's take a look at Professor Lupin's desk. That's an odd paperweight. No Wolfsbane potion lying about, so the full moon can't be due just yet. In these cases are more ingredients known only to Professor Lupin himself. This looks to be some sort of ingredients cabinet with all sorts of apothecary jars. Have a look. Let's take a look at one of the cabinets. Some fascinating items here. I wonder what Professor Trelawney would see in that crystal ball. I'd be afraid to ask, wouldn't you? Before we leave Professor Lupin's office, notice the walls lined with magical ingredients, figures and relics that he has collected over the years. I do hope you've enjoyed your visit. Here in the Hogwarts grounds, there is much to see. Visit Hagrid's hut to learn about magical creatures and how to care for them. Or click on the Golden Snitch for an exciting game preview. Insert this disc into your ROM drive to experience even more interactive features. We are waiting. I got a real treat for you today, a great lesson. 
So follow me. You really shouldn't be here. It's not safe. If you would like to gain entry to the ROM portion of this disk, do insert it into your computer's ROM drive. Hurry along now. Professor Lupin is not at all himself today.